Hello, hello, welcome or welcome back, you guys. It is me, True, from True Water Intuition, back with another Cancer reading for my Cancer Collective. So a quick heads up, you guys. I do speed through the shuffling here on this channel. Hopefully it does not distract you guys too much from the overall message. If you guys find that these messages resonate, that is so awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm always happy to know that the messages are resonating for you guys. But if you find that these messages do not resonate for your circumstance, do not give up on me just yet. Instead, feel free to check out another reading on the channel. I have quite a few for you to choose from, so hopefully you're able to find at least one. However, in the event that does not help, thank you so much for stopping by and I'm sending love and light towards each and every one of you. All the information that you guys need is down below in the description box. All right, y'all. So switching up just a little bit with this read, let's start with some oracle messages, spirit, before we get into the tarot. bottom of the deck is the sight of owl with the ceremony card behind the scenes some of you guys this ceremony is kind of giving me like rituals which kind of makes sense in this time okay considering the time frame with the full moon some of you guys could have been doing some rituals um holding your own ceremonies okay literally for some of y'all in the damn forest cancer what you doing out there in the forest honey Talking about some forest bathing. Somebody could have recently went camping. Maybe someone has a cabin or something in the forest. I'm also getting somebody could have come across a nest, like a bird nest with bird eggs in it, child. I'm just getting a lot of fertility off this forest bathing card. She's surrounded by greenery, okay? Some of you guys could be eating more vegetables in this time. Somebody could, some of y'all could be into uh, herbal medicines, natural remedies, with this forest bathing, it's kind of giving me herbalists right now. I do see that back here in the past, we got this death energy being cut. Kind of um clarified by the soul loss card soul loss is number 29 the death is a number seven so some of y'all could have literally um experienced a passing near like really close to you someone near and dear to your heart with this soul loss some of y'all this could have been a child so my condolences to you guys for that some of y'all this could have been a grandparent I'm also hearing, once again, this is coming in through a reading, someone's grandmother or past one is communicating with you through nature, child. So the birds, the bees, it's like something that's taking place where this uh, loved one is trying to get your attention. Some of you guys are, are grieving over some loss, possibly the loss of this person or some sort of loss that you're going through in this time that your loved one wants you to know that you're not alone and that you're being directed towards something that's very looking very abundant for you guys, like I said, because this is clarifying this far as bathing and both these cards are just screaming abundance okay and if those are not screaming abundance to you the energy coming towards you overall is gatherer her basket is full so period and like i said 
there's a hummingbird on this card so maybe even a hummingbird is significant this loved one is trying to guide you towards something okay this is like maybe your spiritual journey this is a part of your spiritual journey whatever it is that you're being guided towards or guided to do and i feel like you're having to be very wise about this decision with this sight of owl car you know owls are very wise creatures I'm seeing some good things coming your way. All the colors on the cards are just like high vibing, very um, light, playful type of energy even. Somebody could live in the mountains. Maybe mountain is a part of your street name, child. I don't know. Somebody could live near a lake. Maybe you're needing to go near water. Somebody could have some long blue hair. I'm also getting that some of you guys are very photogenic, I'm hearing. Some of you guys could be models. You get a lot of attention. I feel like you're in alignment as well. This is like spirit's way with this ceremony card is giving me someone who is in alignment, feeling like they're in alignment with their divine purpose. Uh, the rise card is also behind that. Some of you guys are definitely rising above some sort of loss or ending for your past or needing to rise above something. Going to this side of owl. Some of y'all could be connecting with a Libra, but you're needing to definitely be wise about this decision and fair is what I'm hearing as well. Somebody is possibly needing to look at something from a different perspective, some sort of decision or choice. Somebody is possibly needing new glasses loss some of y'all this could be a virgo some of y'all could be dealing with a virgo maybe you are a virgo cross watching shout out to the virgos the dip we got the thief card here somebody i just heard somebody feels like time was stolen or time was wasted somebody stole your time maybe preventing an ending that is like inevitable has now come to an end look at this clarity at the bottom of the date the damn glasses child somebody could be getting some sunglasses somebody could be seeing things clearly now somebody could have lost a virgo okay maybe some of you guys this is that loved one that is connecting with someone from the other side. Maybe somebody is kind of closed-minded in the sense that they don't believe in that kind of thing. And, and someone is having to open up, you know, open your mind, broaden your perspective, think about something look into something maybe before judging it since libra is also like the balancing scales it's all about being fair somebody could have been could be seeing that they were unfair maybe in how they judged someone okay going to this forest bathing we got half faith here somebody is having faith um, holding hope for a connection to possibly come back together to have have this circumstance come in alignment again, come into someone's or onto someone's path. Somebody could be doing some sort of spell work for some of y'all, okay? Ceremony card being here. Others of you, I just feel like this is something someone's trying to manifest. Spiritual journey is clarified by the pregnancy. Some of you guys could also be pregnant in this time. 
home was flipped over and what is that feminine is also here um, some of you guys could definitely be having a new addition come into the home um if not i just feel like this is saying that you guys are extremely creative in this time maybe you feel like your creative juices are like really flowing in this time some of you guys could be in this gathering stage you know like whenever the animals are preparing for the change of season when we're going into fall and and they start their gathering. Some of you guys could be doing this in this time, stocking up on fruits and veggies, stocking up on things. And if you are doing this, I feel like you're doing it for a divine reason. So don't doubt it. Just do, do you, boo. Okay. Some of you guys could be getting a lot more greenery around you, plants, uh, things of that nature. Um, this bird of paradise is standing out to me on this card. Go into this gatherer. Pisces hit the table, but heart chakra also flipped up right. Some of you guys, this is about some sort of matters of the heart. Something about justice, someone doing the right thing, someone seeing something from another perspective. Maybe someone has wisened up about something. They've changed their perspective about something. Some of you guys are the ones wisening up. Okay, and maybe this justice is you doing what's best for your damn self. Okay. And creating something brand new for yourself, gathering your, your mentals, your emotions, going with the flow with the Pisces energy. Somebody could also be becoming a pescatarian with the Pisces. I just saw the fish. So others of you, like I said, I just feel like let's say you're going through some sort of breakup. You're needing to have faith that this is what is in alignment with your path. This was a part of your path all along. It was inevitable. So just go with the flow. I do feel there's a lot of abundance being ready to be poured into your life. Okay. You're birthing a new version of yourself. The divine is birthing a new version of yourself. Just in the process and move forward with the circumstance. Others of you, it's the same. Um, spirit definitely wants you to know that there is someone near and dear to you, a mother, a father, a grandmother, a grandfather, what, someone that is communicating with you and is guiding you in alignment I feel like this is a connection that is being brought together. And I feel like these are two people unknowing that this is something. That's why the thief is here. It's like someone is under a mask that maybe with the death, something is over. That's not over, child. Somebody is needing to have faith possibly in this connection, in the fact that this connection is going to come back together. I don't know why I just heard somebody having a forest themed wedding. Number 10 is here. Some about a hot tub. But I feel like someone is coming in a line. Paths are getting ready to cross. I feel like with the mountain, there's been a lot of blockages, a lot of obstacles preventing this circumstance from coming together. But it is now coming together a lot is here. Uh, and this is birthing something new as well on this new part of your journey where one becomes now two. Okay. And the gatherer, it, this is a part of your harvest, Cancer. Some of y'all are definitely coming into relationships. All right. Let's see. Let's get us another spread. We got 
dead end. That's another way of saying the death, child. Solitude is clarifying this dead end. Someone is going into solitude, into isolation. I feel like a deep, uh, strong energy of just thinking over something. You know, there's a big decision that has to be made. And someone doesn't want to make the wrong decision. Number 42 is here as well as number 45. I'm also hearing 98. Um, 98 and 88 going to dream come true. Something about a dream come true. Some of y'all, there's been a connection that has been in separation. Came to a dead end. Oh, child, your money is about to be flowing. Okay. Yes, dreams do come true. Some of y'all about to get some sort of financial blessing here. This is something you've been dreaming of, desiring, trying to manifest. And here it is, child, wishing on the star. Some of y'all could be seeing shooting stars. Coming towards cancer. There's that trapped. A lock is here. Some of y'all, somebody is saying that you have a hold on them. They have your heart on lockdown. You have their heart on lockdown. Number 37 is on this card. We also have number eight on the board and the number 14. Uh, lock and key. Let's go into this trap. Somebody feels trapped. I'm hearing that you have the key, though, so you can't be trapped. Divine timing is at play here. Time. Somebody feels like time is running out. Okay, someone is surrendering here or needing to surrender. Breakups and makeups. All right, let's see. Why is this surrender here? Who is surrendering? Cancer, maybe some of y'all, if you're thinking about ending a job, ending a relationship, I feel like this is something your spirit is calling for you to do. You might not want to break this situation up, break this family up. You don't want to be looking like the bad guy, okay? But, hey, some of y'all want to break up to make up with somebody else, child. Number 27 on this card. You feel like, you feel stuck. You feel trapped because it's like somebody is getting their heart broken. Okay, if you stay in a situation, then you're breaking your heart and the person who you're in isolation from or, you know, in separation with. You're breaking them. And hell, you also breaking the person you're in the relationship with because you really don't want to be with their ass. Okay, and how embarrassing. But the longer you prevent yourself from making up with someone, it's breaking you down with these breakups and makeups. Somebody could also be saying that they tired of breaking up and making up, child. Somebody could have tried to trap somebody. Let's go into surrender. What is this surrender? The sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power is here. Some of y'all, this is clarity in regards to a love connection that someone is now surrendering to. 
I just heard somebody saying they can't fight it anymore. Whatever that means, clock is at the bottom of the deck. So like I said before, someone feels like time is running out, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. So somebody could also be surrendering because you're tired of going through the same damn cycle. Okay, you're ready to progress forward. Some of y'all, that's how y'all feel. Y'all could be surrendering, falling to your knees in this time. Like, spirit, I give up. I'm tired of going through all of this bullshit, these breakups to makeups and this, that, and the third, all in the name of what? Goddamn love, romance, okay? Some of y'all, like, y'all starting to see that you were manipulating yourself the whole time. And you're realizing that you were trapped before, but you're also understanding that you have the key to free yourself. And that's what you're doing by surrendering, surrendering to the divine. You have this clarity. You are walking in your truth. You're no longer afraid of being in solitude. Whereas maybe at one time before with this dead end, you was always like, when is it going to be over? When is it going to be over? Afraid for a connection to come to an end, no matter how many red flags, no matter how many stop signs you see, you still want to hold on because you're afraid of being by yourself. Now you're starting to see as you distance yourself from this person, from these people, from these mentalities, these old ways that are shifting out. You're starting to see that your dreams are coming true, Cancer, in money and love. A lot of y'all thought you had to choose between money and love. You thought, nah, there's no way you can have both. Spirit about to show you. That your dreams can come true, child. Let's continue. Solitude, why is it here? Some of y'all, the runner is ascending. Oh, Lord, child, some of y'all, this is a twin flame, but let me just say, for me, I don't like the twin flame. I, I'm not even going, it doesn't matter. Okay, some of y'all who connect with that terminology, this is your twin flame. You guys compliment each other. Some of y'all, this is possibly something someone is now surrendering to. They're realizing that they... They cannot run, outrun this connection, child. They tired of trying to as well. Especially in this time of feeling like you started making healthier choices for yourself. No longer being afraid to be by yourself. Putting an end to giving somebody else their free will, their happiness, their damn joy. They jumping for joy because they robbing you of your abundance, robbing you of your good energy, your spirit, okay? Your life energy, creativity. And then you, you're left with this blockage, okay? This dead end, like a stop sign. And you put an end to this shit, OK, you kept a positive mindset. You started manifesting exactly what it is that you wanted through gratitude and blissful circumstances started coming into your life. Like I said, you started making healthy choices in love and in life, practicing self-love, self-care and just being happier. OK, and now. Didn't I say you had the key to this lock the whole time? Keys on a damn ring, child. I cannot make this up. You got the key. The whole time you started, you starting to understand that you got the key. When it comes to any type of circumstance that, that you know, when you running after something, it gets further and further away, right? Because you're creating resistance. 
But you guys started to wake up and understand that it's not about chasing. It's about letting go and allowing things to just once again fall into place as they should. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along and one night stand is on this dream come true. For some of y'all, I feel like there's a circumstance that was supposed to possibly be a one night stand, but it got drug out for so long. And for some of y'all, somebody actually views you as their dream come true or you view this person as your dream come, view, come true, even though this circumstance did not start in a very conventional way. OK, it was very unconventional. Um, somebody is saying that, hell, you got the key to their heart, child. They finna give you the key to their car, give you the key to their home, honey. Okay, others of you, Cancer, you're starting to see that you have many options here. You're abundant when it comes to options. Okay, you don't have to settle for somebody stringing you along. You don't have to settle for friends with benefits, one night stands, unconventional type of relationships. Okay, and it's all about making the decision to hold your cars in a sense close to your chest. You have the key to your heart you have the key to your mind and the key to your soul those are those three keys on this ring and you choose who you give those keys to wisely okay i do feel that dreams do come true which means some of y'all about to get some keys maybe this is something you've been dreaming for child spirit is saying do not give up on your um dreams because these dreams do come true some of y'all want to give up only because you believe you're not enough. You feel like you don't have enough for something. Spirit wants you to know, once again, dreams do come true. Some of y'all could be frustrated within a relationship, maybe lacking some sort of confidence. There could be some self-sabotage taking place some fear and ego issues and or jealousy now this jealousy could be coming from external to you guys this time some of y'all this jealousy is coming from within a home dynamic okay so this could even be people you live with under the same damn roof cancer and you got to make a decision some of y'all did somebody you in a relationship with, and that's why this key is here. It's like symbolizing a contract. I'm also hearing somebody is taking a key back from somebody. Somebody could be getting kicked out, child. It's not enough. It's kind of giving me the five of pentacles. So out in the cold. Somebody was thinking that somebody was not enough because they were judging them based off of money, based off of materialism. And so they were stringing you along and keeping their options open. Hmm. Some of y'all are starting to even understand this and that's why you're ascending. OK, you're you're coming out of this mentality of thinking that you're stuck with this person. Some of y'all are waking up from this idea of this twin flame journey and you're realizing that this this unconventional dynamic is something that you've been it's been keeping you stuck. It's been keeping you in a dynamic of constantly chasing this runner. Because to me, the twin flame journey is the narcissist and the codependent relationship. We're transcending obstacles. This is how we unstuck ourselves or untrap ourselves. By transcending obstacles, even the obstacles within our minds, by learning, expansion, okay, expanding upon the things that you know, your knowledge, entering into new phases willingly versus being having to be dragged into these new phases, okay? And you're also being prepared for union, even though some of you guys are dealing with some blockages when it comes to the heart chakra. And that's another reason I feel the heart chakra came out earlier. 
some of y'all this this runner is going to be coming back into your energy in divine timing and i'm not saying that it's coming back because it's meant to be i'm saying spirit is wanting to know are you really tired of breaking up to making up because when this runner brings their ass back into your energy are you going to keep yourself stuck act like you trapped and you cannot let this person go because it's a choice at the end of the day or are you going to ascend that obstacle in your mind are you going to uh, use what you learn from the previous breakup and makeups with this person. Are you going to let that those experiences just be water under the damn bridge? Or are we going to stand in this energy of truth and clarity? Okay, this is spirit telling you like just surrender. Please let this cycle just pass, float on by. Okay. All right. So we got the page of swords here clarify the queen of pentacles and the two of cups some of y'all found out somebody was in a relationship married baby's mom baby's dad something like that i feel like this is what you found out some of y'all, this uh, other person, this third party could have reached out to you. And maybe there's some separation going on here now. I kind of feel like somebody is wondering what somebody has been up to during some sort of separation here. Take it how it resonates, y'all. Whichever side it goes. Uh, going to this Eight of Cups. We got the Knight of Cups. It could be this Knight of Cups. Going to this Eight of Cups. All right. So we got the Nine of Swords that came out with the Six of Wands. Somebody is definitely wondering what somebody is up to whenever you're not talking to this person. Cancer, some of y'all, this is y'all's energy. Like when this person ghosts you, you're trying to figure out what they're up to, who they're doing something with. And this is what's stressing you out. And I also feel like this is what is boosting this person's ego. Others of you, this is a situation where you could have found out about some sort of third party situation back here. You could have found out about a queen of pentacles for some of you, um, a earth sign feminine energy with this page of swords energy, some type of way. And this led you to walk away from someone. But I feel like this person is worried about what you're up to. Or whether or not, like, are you doing good? Are you doing bad? Who are you with? Are you still alone? Are you with someone dating? This, that, and the third. It's like, this is what keeps them up at night. Cancer, I'm also hearing that some of you guys are consumed in your mind in the Nine of Swords over someone that you really should be walking away from because this person is like a player or, you know, just a user. 
a leech. The star energy, yes, at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, some of y'all, you're walking away because you're walking towards something better, someone better. Others of you, as I said before, somebody is definitely keeping themselves up at night wondering what you're up to. If you've moved on, are you like they're trying to figure out what's going on in the midst of this silence? And I feel like for a lot of you, what's going on is you're moving forward and you're working on building yourself up, um, manifesting your dreams, your goals with the star and the chariot energy. You out here winning. And for some of y'all, this is causing someone to be in the nine of swords, too stressed they stressed about your come up they stressed about your victory your success about all of this abundance that spirit has been pouring in coming towards cancer the temperance some of y'all, somebody wants your forgiveness. And this could be some communication coming your way rather quickly, rather unexpectedly, possibly from a Sagittarius for some of y'all. Some of y'all might be moving, okay? And this might be something that happens spur of the moment. Somebody, if y'all are dating, this person could be asking you to move in with them. And it's like, that's what's got you stressing or this person is stressed because they're they're afraid to ask you this um, because they don't want to get rejected. King Dingling, child, the ego. Somebody is definitely flying their ass in towards you with some communication. Damn, King of Cups, child. Ooh, the heartbreak up. Some of y'all, this is someone who has broken your heart. Others of you, I feel like this is someone coming back into your energy and they're wounded. Remember that surrender card earlier? They coming back because they are wounded. And it's going to be hard for you to get out of your head that eight of swords that we saw. It's going to be hard for you to get out of your head about this situation because of the simple fact this person is coming back wounded. And so you feel like with all the good things going on in your life, why would you help them? And they wasn't there for you. So it's like you want to return the favor and spirit wants you to be fair. Remember the Libra, the justice. Don't do what your first mind tells you to do because your first mind, I feel like you're going to want to show your big D energy cancer. And you're going to want to kick this motherfucker down. <laughs> okay, you're going to want to stomp their ass in the ground while they down. Because they hurt. They going through some disappointment. And I feel like it took a lot for them to even muster up the courage to dial your number, ring your line, to open up these communication lines, child. But this person been waiting and waiting and waiting. And they like, I mean, I can't keep waiting. I feel like this person is now talking with you about some sort of investment, wanting to invest in a relationship. But you don't trust this person because you feel like, Oh, well, where's that other person? And why you want to come back to cancer now? Okay, is it to use cancer again? Okay. Some of y'all, this is saying that they have put an end to a karmic connection. Others of you, this is you saying you will be damned if this person come back in your energy and try to use you again, child. 
somebody going to end up hurt. Okay. Ooh, child. Some of y'all might want to take this situation slow with the Knight of Pentacles being here and not just rush into something with this person. Because as the king and queen of swords for both, you know, the, my feminines showing up as the queen of swords, masculines, king of swords, those of y'all watching, whoever this person is, you're definitely in an energy of being detached from this person. And so you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve at all. I feel that you're protecting your heart space. So you might invest enough time to talk to this person, see where their head is at, see if this circumstance is worth even reconciling, which some of you guys will be reconciling because that's another energy I get off the temperance. Okay, some of you are going to be forgiving this person and possibly even making the decision to keep on moving. And then you're going to meet someone new. But of course, let's get some clarity. We got the page of wands. So this person is reaching out with a message. Okay, this is some guidance that someone is receiving. Once again, somebody has somebody reaching out to them, guiding them, a loved one from that's passed on child. And this could be a masculine that I'm talking to you as a masculine, have a grandmother, a grandfather, somebody that's communicating with you from the other side. Well, damn, Cancer Masculines. Going to this Two of Cups. What about the Queen of Cups? Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Seven of Cups, the Fool, and the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is someone saying that they were a fool because they bypassed having a relationship with you before. Okay, we got king and queen of pentacles back here in the past, but somebody didn't. They was a fool because they didn't recognize their partner. Okay, so I feel like one of the, the equation, okay, one side of the equation recognized the other person, but the other person didn't recognize you, okay? Or whoever, Cancer. They were delusional. They thought they had options. They thought they still had time to play out there in them streets. And spirit said, no. Remember that dead end? Spirit stopped some shit because somebody was taking advantage of a connection in the wrong way. So spirit said, I'm going to stop this shit. Remember when I was talking about some of y'all ancestors blocking this person out too? Because they not ready. And you could have been confused under the guise, oh, you know, thinking it's over. Remember when I said some of y'all think something is over, it's not over, child. You had to take this leap of faith and move away from this connection and go after stability for yourself, planting these seeds within yourself and rewriting some of this turmoil, some of this chaos, this drama that is within. OK, it's some jealous because this could even be some these could be people you work with. Or like I said before, people under the same roof as you, child. Like they just want to see you give up, child. They want to see you give up. They don't want to see you succeed. That's for sure. Knight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups. Some of y'all had to go at go in the direction that your morals were guiding you. And that's what you feel like you still doing in this time, chasing after what's important to you. 
going after your goals, your dreams. Some of you guys are becoming teachers, lawyers, doctors, nurses, maybe counselors, spiritual counselors, uh, yoga, maybe opening up your own yoga studio and things of that nature. Herbalists, okay, mentors, eating healthier. This has actually, this breakup, this circumstance has actually put you on the right path towards where you're headed. And some of you guys, this is why something is picking up the pace I'm hearing with the Knight of Swords energy. Twice, double confirmation. Somebody is also trying to get over their fear of asking you out or <sighs> communicating with you, opening the lines of communication. Someone is definitely scared to death, but I feel like they're going to do it. Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Some of y'all, this is someone wanting your forgiveness with the Hierophant. Someone could be also... Like I said, they are going through some sort of trauma, some sort of loss with the nine of swords. And that's another reason that they're scared. That's another reason why they're unsure about coming towards you, because you could be doing well and they are not. So they feel like you're going to reject them. This is what's going through their head. And the six of wands is like you're doing well. They are not. And maybe, hell, this is a circumstance where you were doing not so well and they were and they were nowhere to be found, Cancer. So they feel like you're going to repay them, return the favor and walk away from their ass during their time of need. That's why I feel like spirit wants you not to make the first rash move or say the first rash thing that comes out of your mouth. Because spirit wants you to be fair. Spirit wants you to uh, come from a higher perspective with this circumstance. Some of y'all, this is definitely someone who could have abandoned you before with this eight of, of cups energy or someone who watched you walk away as if you didn't matter to them. Going to this king of wands. The chariot, knight of swords. Some of y'all are moving away from this person with the chariot. Others of you, I did say, I feel like some of you guys are going to trust your intuition. Some of you guys are going to forgive this person and move forward with this person. Some of y'all are going to try to keep this a secret, too, because I feel like you don't want someone to judge you for making the decision to stay with somebody. So you're you're taking things slow and you're keeping it kind of like a secret, maybe. Temperance. All right, the four of pentacles that you're still holding on to this person that they're holding on to you. Okay, this could be an Aquarius for some of y'all with the star card coming through. Some of y'all, this is definitely a wish or a dream come true. This is a yes card. Somebody could also be proposing here because they want to hold on to a connection with you. Some of y'all, I'm also hearing you're trying to keep it a secret that you're in this relationship or in this connection, but people can see it because you're glowing and you find it kind of hard to hide how happy you are. And that's another thing I feel like is different with the death. It's like, damn, no more struggle, love. Now you actually happy. And seeing how that feels for once. Some of y'all, if you're going through some kind of struggle, this struggle is coming to an end. You're needing to keep the faith. Don't, don't fold, don't bend, because this is what people who are, quote unquote, onlookers, that's what they want to see you do. Okay, Cancer. 
All right, my love. So those are you guys' messages. If these messages resonated for you, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. Thank you guys so much for taking your time and watching this read with me today. And I'm going to catch you guys really soon in another reading. Until then, take care, my cancers. <laughs>